They are not in the question room. Be a non and in the company of Her Royal Highness Celestia. Are you sure you want to do this, Anon? I'm sure. I need to know how I got here, why I'm here, and who brought me here. And if this mind-reading thing can unlock those memories, then so be it. Celestia readies herself while you sit on a couch in front of her. Twilight comes up and places a hoof over your arm. Just so you know, try to skip past anything with me in Twilight. Twilight smiles bashfully and twirls her mane. You may also want to skip that whole high school and flash thing. Oh yeah. That shit. Celestia begins and blasts you with her mind-melding powers. Instantly, she finds herself flying through a long, dark, swirling tunnel of lightning and thunder. It epically torrents and wars in ferocity unparalleled to any storm. My little pony, my little pony, ah. As she flies through it all, there are breaks in the clouds where light shines through, peeking her head in one of them. She glimpses you at, a, at an apple orchard. You pluck off an apple, but when you go to take a bite, Applejack yells, Some pony's still in my apples! Celestia pops her head out. No, but we're getting close. Despite going in and seeing many different times of your life, she you can't seem to see anything other than your time in Equestria. Celestia looks further down the tunnel. It's, it's a risky gamble, but those memories have to be there. Flying off, she kicks it into high gear and blasts through what must be miles of time. Lightning crackles while heavy rain pelts her coat. Reaching the end, she gets zapped with a strong bolt of lightning and falls into the end of the tunnel. Waking up, she looks around and is surrounded by muscular, half-hairy apes. All of, the, uh, all of them are going about their business, fo foraging and picking ticks off one another. Suddenly, the earth begins to tremble as a giant black pillar emerges from the ground. All the monkey men shriek and holler before running away. Celestia comes up and examines the rock. It's smooth and cold to the touch. She notices the other monkey men coming up and touching it too. They're fascinated with its cool surface and begin to make happy grunts. Soon all of them come up and rub themselves over it. Then, in an instant, they all stop. Realization is unlocked in their heads. One pick, picks up a bone and flings it into the air, almost like an air alarm. The other monkeys screech and begin doing the same. Some hammer things into the ground while others roll rocks. All the monkeys begin building the stepping stones of civilization, all except one. He sits on the ground with a carrot in his hand, and almost in thought, Celestia walks up to him, and when he looks up, they make eye contact. He looks over her before looking at the carrot. Off in the distance, a mare is eating grass when a stallion walks up and mounts her. He then he he then turns back to Celestia and then to the mating horses, back and forth, back and forth until he stops. He gets up and walks over to Celestia, offering her, her the carrot. He grunts, "For the horse? Oh, why? Thank you. I'm flattered." She levitates the carrot as you walk around her. She continues to talk. I'm simply famished after today, and what are you doing? He mounts her and begins to toss into her. Celestia turns bright red as he pushes it into her. Oh my! She lifts her leg about to buck, but instead lowers it. Well, I mean, it has been a while since any pony courted me, and he did give me that carrot. After the monkey man is done, he ejaculates into her and wobbly pulls out. Celestia squat, squats and squats while biting her lip. That was amazing. He lasted a whole minute. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I reading this shit? She ponders as the mo monkey man sleeps peacefully on the ground. Using her magic, she casts a spell on him. I'll have, you have your great descendant give me a call sometime. Several million years of... If evolution will have his stamina through the woof. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Why did I pick this story? Oh God. Flying off into the sky, she comes to she comes to on the floor of her castle. Princess Celestia, are you alright? Huh? Twilight? Are you alright, Princess? Never better. Picking herself up, she her stretches and pops her back. Did you find out about Anon? Find out what? About how he got here. That was the whole point, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that's how. 
how did how did I get here? What did you see? Well, anon well, anonymous, you see. Oh shit! I think I fucked up. Uh, how did I get here? What did you see? Well, anonymous, you see. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter the the how or the why. What matters is the what. Like what, what, or who we do. You didn't learn anything, did you? I learned plenty now, Twilight. Do be a good student and fill out some paperwork or something. And on, have you ever seen my room before? Today was a time paradox, eh? What the 